I'm here. You're here. And we both know what we're here for. Let's get it started. Welcome back. If this is your first time to the channel, my name is Soho, and this is The Midnight Hour. The Midnight Hour is where you and me, as a collective, we come together to watch any and everything horror-related on the internet. You can join in on the fun by submitting anything that you find by using the hashtag Midnight Hour and tagging me at Soho's World. I don't know why I did that. Whatever. All right, so for tonight's first video, submitted by good friend of the channel, AB. AB, thank you so much for joining in on the fun, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't thank you enough. If that already wasn't enough. Never mind. Anyway, <laughs> uh, the first submission is from the good folks over at True Horror Stories POV, titled The Last Thing. Let's get into it. Again, I love, 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 like, the, the whole blinking thing they do with this. Not again. Not again. Come on, don't do this to me. Third episode in a row. Don't do me like this. Off at the wrong floor. That should be in a time paradox. again. I hate you guys. I hate you guys. I hate you guys. I hate you guys. How did you get to the 7th floor? You're supposed to be on the 5th. Numbers don't even look the same. Not a perfectly nice bike. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Hey, babe. Eh, sorry, lambat. Kata gula bukan? Eh, thank you eh. Support eh. Kasi uh, invoice aku satu kat alam. <laughs> eh, kau cek eh. Ada betul ke tak aku cek banyak kali, Syul. <laughs> Betul lah. <laughs> eh, thanks eh. Support eh. Thanks, thanks. Ah, tu lah. Kau tahu, kau tahu. Eh, apa ni aku nak cakap dengan kau? Paisa aku lambat. Ah, dia dah cakap aku. Kau OT. Oh, ya, ya, ya. Ah, habis aku, habis aku tadi tu, ni lah. Aku dah plan order aku nak hantar lain-lain semua. Habis ni aku macam push back. Sorry eh. Aku kesian kau balik kerja lah, Pak. <laughs> eh, thanks, thanks, thanks. Okay, bye. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Kasih review. <laughs> bye. So, 
I'm gonna keep it frank with you guys. The jump scare you just saw, I jumped so hard, I unplugged everything. That's why I and shout out to the camera for catching this. That's why I look around like a bad four year old, like everything just went off. I'm surprised it even caught that, to be honest with you. Let's get back to it. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, eh? Uh, aku okay, aku okay. Sorry, eh? Aku tu borong mangkau, eh? Baik, sih, eh? Tak apa, tak apa. Tak apa, tak apa. Sorry, sorry. Aku call Aidil, aku call Aidil. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Thanks, thanks. Eh, sorry, eh? Eh, sorry, aku kacau. Kau tengah makan, eh? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Makan, makan, makan. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Tanah, tanah, tanah. Tanah. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Sorry, ya, kacau kau, eh. Eh, makan, makan. Sorry, ya. Eh. <laughs> aku, aku tumpang rumah kau kejap je. Aku nak, nak call ID ni. <laughs> <laughs> kau, so, kau seorang kan kat rumah? Oh, dah tidur. Alamak, aku kan juga eh. Look, I feel like, yo, I'm, I'm sleeping in this chair. I'll leave in the morning. Uh-uh. Eh, babe, sorry eh. Kau pakai Android ke Apple lah? Android eh? Eh, uh, uh, ada charger tak? Boleh aku pinjam? Bateri aku dah tinggal 19% je. Kat mana charger kau? Oh, kat bilik kau. Eh, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Aku yang patut sorry. <laughs> aku ambil boleh? Aku ambil kat bilik kau. Aku takut ideal contact aku. Aku tak tak get lah dia punya call. Yang, okay, he's a black sebelah kanan eh. Okay, uh, kau simpan kat mana? Okay, can, can. Thanks, thanks. Oh. Udah, mana kau letak aja aja dia? Left ke right? At this point, just let him take you. GG's. You have fun. Just let him take you.
Tonight's second video, it comes from the good folks over at Horror Shorts Party. This one is titled True Dentist Horror Story 2, which means there was a first. And it's true. Don't believe me? Let's watch. My name is Candace, and I'm a single mother with two kids. My daughter Sarah is seven and my son Tommy is five. <laughs> they were I both do? due for their six month cleaning and our regular dentist recently yeah, retired, leaving me to what find a new one. Like their previous happening? dentist was very kind and always took really great care of my kids, so I was hoping to That's find crazy. one just like him. Oh. However, it was more difficult than expected. After months and months of strenuous searching, <laughs> one dentist, Dr. Teal, had oh caught my God. attention. With great customer reviews and a 4.8 star rating, I set up an appointment. Not no. Wait. Editing, so can we can we get the clip of the kids dancing again? <laughs> and and add some some music behind it, please. Hey, don't drop that thud, da -da. Don't drop that thud, da -da. Hey, don't drop Knowing that this would be the biggest mistake of my life. Upon arrival, Sarah got her teeth cleaned efficiently, leaving Tommy to go next. Dr. Teal walked into the waiting room once he finished with Tommy's cleaning, and it was safe to say that it didn't look like he had good news. It's not looking good, Candace. Tommy here has a couple of cavities. <sighs> I was afraid of that. I've been letting him brush his own teeth. It's all right. Don't beat yourself up. They all have to learn this somehow, and these things happen. Listen, I just had a cancellation if you'd like to get those taken care of right now. Really? That would be great. I wasn't sure when I could get out of work for an appointment anytime soon. Great. Are you gonna be all right while I take your sister back to school? Mom, I'm five. I'm not a baby. <laughs> okay, I'll be back as soon as I can. I checked Sarah out and drove to a McDonald's oh, drive through oh, to purchase her a Happy Meal. I figured since Tommy was a big boy now, I could take a little extra time. I dropped Sarah off at school and drove back to the dentist. To my surprise, Dr. Teal had already completed all of Look Tommy's fillings. However, when Tommy tried to stand on his feet, he seemed very woozy and unstable. I know a thing or two about funny He's gas and how my a, kids a, responded a, a to it. But this time, Tommy seemed more Speaking agitated that, than usual. Tommy, are you okay, buddy? I am fine, Mom. He gave me a shot in the gums and I didn't feel a thing. I told Dr. Teal that my son was not acting like himself, and he informed me that they had updated the funny gas formula. With this information, he proceeded to inform me that within five hours, Tommy would be back to his usual self. I'll be honest, I felt a bit uneasy with this response, but I decided to give it time to wear off. I kept Tommy home the rest of the day, and he passed out after eating some lunch. I occasionally checked in on him, and he seemed to be okay until I went to wake him up to retrieve Sarah from school. I entered his room and gently shook him, calling out his name. Tommy, wake up. It's time to go get Sarah. Piss off. Let me sleep. Thomas Alexander, you do not talk to me that way. I am your mother. I'll talk to you however I want. Now while you're out, get me a soda and some candy. I was shocked at Tommy's vocabulary. I grabbed his arm and dragged him to the car while the little squirt kicked oh, and screamed at me. He shouted profanities at me the entire drive to school. And when Sarah got in the car, she had to sit in the front seat so that Tommy wouldn't hit her. He screamed and cursed at us the entire way home. I locked Tommy in his room and immediately called the dentist's office. The phone rang numerous times before reaching their already full voicemail box. I decided that I would give him until tomorrow for the funny gas to wear off. That night, I had Tommy sleep in my room so that I could keep a close eye on him. He slept throughout the night, and the next day he seemed like he was back to his normal self, so I got him ready for school. The day went great, and I nearly forgot about his hellish behavior from the day before. He even apologized for talking the way he did, and of course, I couldn't stay mad at him. However, the next day he seemed to get worse. He was more demanding and being extremely rude. At some point, I heard a scream in the kitchen from the laundry room and rushed out to see that Tommy was chasing Sarah with a knife. Ah! Tommy! What do you think you're doing?
you're doing? Mommy, Tommy grabbed a knife and said he wanted to chop the top of my head off. Get out of my way. I managed to snatch the knife from him, and he ran upstairs to his room, cackling demonically. I comforted Sarah no, until what? she felt safe again. I couldn't avoid the sinking guess. feeling in the pit of my stomach that something was very, Not very yeah, wrong yeah, with Tommy. That, that's he was usually and such a sweet kid, up. and he adored his big sister. Even if Sarah made him mad, he would have never <laughs> grabbed a knife. I tried calling the dentist again, but this time the number was out of service. I didn't know what to do, and I was scared. That night, after I put Sarah to bed, I went to get Tommy from his room. I opened the door and he held up a picture he drew of Sarah, with half of her head cut off. Tommy's picture brought shivers down my spine as I stuttered. T tommy let's go get Sarah and go for a drive. Are we getting ice cream? We sure are, buddy. We quickly drove to the emergency room and explained the situation to the doctor. Tommy was taken for an MRI, and unfortunately, he came back with some horrible news. Candace, I need to speak with you about Tommy. Is everything okay? Yeah, he's not dead or dying, but your son is suffering from some severe brain damage. Brain damage? Well, we ran some tests and found that a chemical he had breathed in had crossed some wires in his brain. Has your son been around any chemicals lately? No, he was at the dentist the other day. He mentioned that he had come out with a new formula in their funny gas. Which dentist did you go to? I told him about Dr. Teal, and the doctor informed me that Tommy was one of a few patients that had suffered some brain damage after the funny gas they were given. He also told me how the dentist's office had been shut down, and the guy was on the run. My stomach dropped when the doctor told me that they would have to give Tommy a lobotomy. I thought they didn't do those what? anymore, but apparently in Tommy's case, it was the only option. I eventually agreed to have the lobotomy performed on him. They kept him in the hospital for a couple of days for observation. My sweet Tommy recovered just fine and seemed to be back to himself. A couple of months went by and we thought we were in the clearing. One night after falling asleep, I woke up to something dripping on my face. I looked up to find Tommy holding a cleaver and what looked like a rat in his hand, holding them over my head. I made Sarah different. Come see her, Mommy. I rushed out of bed to Sarah's room and Whoa. turned on the light. She was laying in her bed with the top of her head chopped off. Blood and brains saturated her pillows. Oh she God. looked as though she was smiling, just like she was in his hand-drawn picture. <laughs> That was a good one. Whoa. Well. All right, and for tonight's final video, uh, it's from the good folks over at Avocado Animations, titled When There's No Toilet Paper. Yeah. Let's watch. Oh, oh, great. You're back from the bathroom. Um, I was actually hoping to talk to you Charmin about something bear. really That's quickly. Great. Now, you might be wondering why there's no... Oh. What did you do? Uh, excuse me? <laughs> Helen, I shit 15 times a day. And not once have we ran out of toilet paper. So, let me ask again. Oh, Jesus Christ, Steven! What did you do to the toilet paper? Yo, 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 just, it is never that serious. Just calm down. Oh, I'm calm, Ellen. I'm very calm. But my cheeks <laughs> are completely <laughs> unwiped right now. And it's a little uncomfortable. Look, I... I can explain. Then explain. I mean, Jesus, woman. <gasps> Toilet paper is all I have in life. And, and, and you just you just ripped that away from me. 
We have a son. Her son can't wipe my ass now, can he? And even if he could, it wouldn't possibly compare to the dermatologist tested ultra gentle with the touch of soothing lotion and every sheet rolls of toilet paper now would it helen no exactly now please for the love of toilet paper tell me what you did you really want to know? I'm waiting. I burned it all. <laughs> what is happening? What? Every <laughs> last roll. No, 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 you're lying! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> he still, <laughs> he still got Boo boo on his backside. Oh my goodness. We were happy <laughs> with our toilet I'm such a child. Oh my goodness. A well placed boo boo joke gets me every time. To be honest, I prefer bidets. <laughs> Brought to you by Bidet. That's the midnight hour for this week, y'all. Uh, again, if you want to join in on the fun, make sure to throw the hashtag midnight hour somewhere on the socials. Tag me at Soho's World. And I will catch you on the next one. Is he still there? All right, cool. Um, Since you're still here, uh two uh let's plays dropping soon uh first we got uh the walking dead by telltale and we're starting that from the beginning and we also have poppy's playtime um if they haven't dropped already they will be dropping soon or at the very least i will try and pace it a little bit um if you like what you're seeing as far as the midnight hour and hey if you enjoy the gaming content as well please like comment and subscribe now, I will catch you on the next one. Peace. So settle in, let's settle down. So what do you have got you filled out? So bring it in, don't play around. Your little friends keep.